to the latest story in our unsolved series. One of the first steps in solving a homicide is identifying the victim. Until investigators know who was killed, it can be difficult to move a case forward. When police were unable to identify a body that was found on the side of I-10 back in 1987, the investigation stalled. The victim was listed as a Jane Doe for more than two decades. That was until her children offered up their DNA. Katie Jeffries continues our unsolved series tonight. Linda Anderson's four children had no idea what had happened to her for decades. She had simply disappeared. But as adults, they went searching for answers and found that her body had been discovered 23 years earlier and labeled a Jane Doe. That discovery ignited her cold case of who killed Linda and why. An old picture captures the moment detectives gathered around the remains of a woman off the side of I-10 wrapped up in a mattress and a blanket and had string and tape wrapped around her. She had been stabbed to death, but there were few clues as to who she was. Detective Charity Rose with the Nassau County Sheriff's Office says in 2011, one of Anderson's children began searching through the National Missing and Unidentified Persons database and found a Jane Doe listing from 1987. He submitted DNA to see if there was a match. The DNA came back and it was positively identified as Linda Faye Anderson. Finally, with a name, detectives began looking into Anderson's life before she died. She was a mother of four, possibly renting a small apartment in the Beaches area, and was last known to work at Beaches Yellow Cab and the Jacksonville Kennel Club. Detective Rose says Anderson was last seen alive by her ex-husband. Last time he saw her was October 14th, 1986. However, she wasn't reported missing until March of 1987. Here's a look at the report made by Anderson's mother to the Neptune Beach Police Department. It is unclear, though, why it took so long to report her as a missing person. She was known to leave home for a couple weeks, according to her daughter and her son, but not for five months and who found her remains raised questions. A man named Ivy Lee Thomas told investigators in 1987 he found Anderson's remains while hunting. Thomas had been released from prison three years earlier for killing his wife after she shot at him first, according to reports. Detective Rose can't interview him, though. He died in 2011, but she does not consider him a suspect, saying the two deaths were completely different. In reopening the case, Detective Rose says there is evidence that she feels can be resubmitted for DNA testing. But she also needs help from the people who knew Linda Anderson before she was killed. I'm hoping that anybody from the community who had contact with her, who knows anything about her, um, who worked with her, can just come forward, tell us if she was dating anybody, if she was having problems at home, problems at work, was she depressed, um, where she was going on that day, if they heard from her on Thanksgiving or Christmas, just, just any information would be helpful. And finally get answers in a case with so many questions. If you know anything about the time leading up to Linda's death or anything about her murder, the Nassau County Sheriff's Office asks that you contact them or Crime Stoppers. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side.